Hello and welcome again to another video of basic fishing. Today I'm on the yak again. <laughs> and what a stunning start to the morning this is. This is like a crystal clear condition and not a wind in sight. It's almost like a lake. The objective today is trying to get out to the 10 meter mark out there. And I want to try some reasonable deep fishing on the yak and see how it goes and also test out some gears that I want to use and yeah hope you all enjoy today's content and yeah stay tuned for some fishy action all right so here's my yak all ready to go very excited another adventure on the hibiscus coast and this time I am on a new area it's still the hibiscus coast but it's the new section of what oh my god there's a fish there <laughs> that's cool so let the adventure begin again I'm gonna be launching right now but before I do that I have to put my wheels and I've arranged this gear in a way that should suit me later so a few bait fish while I was casting the um, the dart spin around which was really cool There we go. Time to go. All right. Out to 10 meters of water. Here we come. I'll troll on the way too. So that would be good fun. Head out to the deep water. I think there might be a work up around here. I'm gonna go and investigate. I um. Jig this. Ah! Lost it. I'm just jigging this up and down here. And I think I just got smashed by a car wire. Let's see if the hook... Oh yeah, the hook is all good. Oh my god, this is so fun. There's a sink to the bottom and jig it up and down oh whoa that is cool come on Kawai. <laughs> this is so cool i'm right out in the shallows trying my luck for some kawai Oh, yep, got it, come on. Oh, what? It's a snapper. What? First fish, it's a snapper. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <sighs> wow. I'm not that far from the shore either but uh I don't think he's big enough anyway so he'll be going back um where's my hook remover tool there it is so this tool comes in handy make sure to uh check out my um sponsors for the gear that I use and check out the description as well all of my details are there. First fish. Oh, hard work just chasing these work cups. If I get a kawaii from here, I'll be satisfied. But I'm gonna flick a micro jig into school. Oh my god. The splashes, but I don't see any kawaii at the moment. Oh, yeah, 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 they hit the ditches here. Come on. Oh, they're just here. Oh my god, I see it. Oh, oh my god, I just saw it. They're interested.
on the micro jig. Don't think it's a Conway though. Ah, small snaps. The micro jig is working really well. Ow! God. There we go. Perfect hookup. Feels like a car way. Oh, don't tell me it's another snapper. Oh, it's not a bad size actually. He's ah. Oh. Oh. Well, I'm seeing to have bad luck targeting the car way, but that's fine. I finally reached somewhat my destination. I'm not sure if this is 10 meters of water yet, but I'm gonna test it out nonetheless. And um, yeah, if it all goes well, then yay, I'll, I hope I'll be into some fish. But for now, I'm just gonna be testing out this water, which I hope will produce me some goods. And hopefully I'll land some fish. I mean, I've landed fish on the yak so far. I hope I don't get skunked, but you never know. Fishing can happen. But, um, basically, I just hope that this area will produce me some bigger fish. The last couple of trips I've been on the yak, I've always got the reasonable sized fish. So, yeah, let's see if this does spin will do me any good. I just to my first fish. On the, on the, well, not my first fish on the dart spin, but got something. Ah, oh, yep, here we go. That's not a bad snaps, actually. But I think I might let him go. Oh. Just, um, yeah, I think I'll let him go. He seems a bit too skinny for my liking. Dart spin. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So the trick I did is when I got up to a water column, I free sport it down so that it hit the bottom again. And just like that, the snapper took it. Which goes to show that this um, unique soft bait does the trick. Up. <laughs> it's not a big fish again, but these softies are producing um, some fish. I'll give this one a measure out of curiosity. The legal size on the East Coast people is 30 centimeters, so always be aware. He's not exactly a big fish either, but let's have a look nonetheless. <laughs> Look at that, not even legal. But even with a big um, soft bait, they're quite ambitious. I'm going to be finally be testing this out here. The Senaku. I've heard so many good things about this. And from what I heard, working this is easy. All you got to do is slowly wind it up. I might have to go extra slow because this reel has a high speed retrieval. Let's see how it goes. Wow, but I finally got a good snapper. Well, it might be not be a good snapper, but it's still providing a good fight on the gear. Here we go. Ah, oh. oh, look at that. Ah, oh, he just got off. Finally hooked up on the small micro jig it's been a slow session so far and um yeah i hope this fish is legal um might be close actually 
No, nah, I don't think he is. That's nowhere near 30. There we go. Oh, this is another bycatch species on the uh, on the micro jig. <laughs> a jack macro. But I'm not if I had a live bait set up I would have used it for live bait. But uh not today. So he is one lucky bait fish to be going home. The livers. Yep. Oh god. Double hook up. Ah! Oh. Oh no. Double hook up at the wrong time. I'm gonna have to undo this clip. I'm playing gently because he's a really, really. Oh, yep, good snapper. Oh, finally. Oh. Push one here. Now I just have to pay attention to the Sunaku. Oh, finally got a fish on the Sunaku. Yep. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh my god, he just, um, ah, oh, crap, he's not a big one, so I let him go, oh, I should have done one thing at once, but yeah, that's really cool, how the Sunaku, I didn't even do anything, and I caught the my biggest fish for today, oh my god, I'm proud of this catch, Ugh. Ow. On the Sunaku. A good sized catch from Black Magic. <laughs> oh, that is so sick. I'll get a shot of that here. <laughs> On the Sunaku rig. Yeah. <laughs> On the Sunaku rig. Yeah! <laughs> so, yeah, this fish. Oh man, can't stop bragging about the Sunaku, but that is cool. Sunaku delivers again but I'm not sure if this fish will be oh it's not a bad fish actually um let's see how big he is oh yeah he might be very close actually oh yeah ah uh. Fishing has gone dead right now and that sheer water looks as hungry as I do for some action but let's see how just see how far this casts damn that is so fun to watch but once it lands I'm just gonna let it drop to the bottom and from there I'll be working it up and down almost like soft baiting really to um the fishing's been slow so i'm going to be using a flutter flutter jig 20 gram here and um yeah the micro jig was just going down but where is this it flutters on the way down so hopefully this will help me to um get some fish on the bite there we go Checking this up and down on the side of the kayak and I got myself a fish. Took a while, but... Oh. Ah. 
Nah, I don't think it's. I don't think it's legal. God, stop shaking. Stop squirming. There we go. So I just, I just wet my hands. <laughs> Two hooks at once. Yep. John. Looks like a triff. Oh. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell. Ah. Oh. There must have been a triff. Like a slightly better fish. Oh. And here more sheer waters are coming. Oh. This feels like a better fish. I think. Ah. Uh, maybe not. I hope it is. Been working hard. Ah, uh, no, nah, it's not. Uh, oh, I think this might be a better fish. I'm playing it gently because I remember all of the um, escaped fish. Oh, now nah, this one's pulling drag. Please tell me this is a... Oh, yep, there it is. Oh, finally. Oh, man, after a long time waiting, finally got a home take takeable fish. Ah. Under my code, Jake. Oh, finally. Oh, that's a good size snapper too. He's probably a little bigger than the one I caught on the Sunaku, but that's all good. Ah. Oh. oh. Not a bad snapper. It's probably my biggest one so far up here in the kayak. On the micro jig too, which was really cool right at the skin of the mouth I mean how cool is that oh yep there we go yeah look he's not even that hooked properly but yeah I'm just glad I was able to secure him a bit more better this time happy days everybody especially after working for so long yeah another familiar face uh, Jack Mackerel oh and he's off well, just to show you how easy it is to fish this, like especially in deep water from the kayak, it's like 15 meters of uh, depth around here, like approximately. And the jig is so fun to use. Like I've been jigging the majority of the day. I mean, the Sunaku, unfortunately, um, I'm just using it as like a secondary um, gear in case I want to, you know. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, damn, such a waste, but yeah, this method is proving to be more, more reliable in this depth of water than the soft bait so far. Oh, don't tell me this is not a bait fish. Yeah, it feels like another Jack Mac. Look at the way it's fighting. For a small bait fish, oh my god. They fight pretty hard. That's not a bad size Mackie. But well, that's what you call extreme archie fishing. <laughs> anyway, he's gonna be released. <laughs> Down to another solid fish. Oh Yep, there's another biggie. I did my classic cast and retrieve method and it delivers. Wow, this is a powerful fish.
not gonna give up without a fight, that's for sure. Oh, oh, this feels like a good fish. Oh my god! Oh, that's a, that's a good size snaps. Oh my god, he's just secreted a lot of uh, crap. Oh, I'm just I'm getting another bite on my Sanaku. Ah! Oh. oh my god! That's my fifth snapper now. I don't know. Oh man. This, these snappers on the jigs are proportionally a lot more bigger than the ones that I was catching in the shallow waters on the soft bait, but man. This is a sick catch. Oh, I'm happy with this on the small micro jig. It was hooked in the face. Oh, if, the, if it weren't for the second hook, oh, actually, no, he wasn't going to go anywhere anyway, but still. Oh, God, that, that lip is gummy. Oh. Not a, not a bad snapper. It's better size, definitely, that's for sure. Onto another solid fish. Oh god. What could this be? Oh the the Trevally. Oh yes. They go berserk on these jigs. Especially when they're not hooked properly. Oh, Ooh, that might be a close size. So legal size for Trev is 25 centimeters, but if he's over there, then I might just keep him. Nah, he doesn't make it. All right, so I'm gonna call it a day. It's been um, tough fishing, that's for sure. Um, it was nice getting to experiment in, in the deeper water but if there's anything I've learned is that soft baiting is more suited in the shallow waters whereas the jigging much more suited in like um, what do you call it jigging is more suited in like deep waters up to 20 meters and matching the right weight for the appropriate depth is also important as well but uh you know it was hard work but unlike the last time i was out kayak fishing i actually bagged myself some more um decent sized fish so that was really cool anyway i hope that everyone has enjoyed watching this video and if you have please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe and yeah see you all next time